So Holy Cross is a child and youth care centre that caters to about 110 children um, who have been removed from their families due to various um, social ills, um, abuse and neglect. Teammates came down and with a great initiative from Pick and Pay. Uh, so we were delivering some food parcels to the home and uh, yeah, it was an exciting morning. It was nice to play some games with the, with the children here yeah, and to see some smiles on their faces. We can start. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to say and then you must follow what he's doing, eh? Yeah. You know the game? Yes. Okay, so we're going to pick it up. Okay. says, touch your heels. Touch your toes. Be very fortunate, first of all, you know, to, to be where we are and be able to put food on our tables and have a roof over our heads. And what we're doing now is just showing everyone that whatever thing, whatever, however small your donation is, it, it really goes a long way for someone. Whether it's one or two meals or three meals, that person will, or those people will appreciate it so much. Are you and Skada, you know, doing these things and, you know, always looking for opportunity to kind of do that stuff, you know, so I was very, I was very um, keen to do this and as soon as, um, you know, Duncan put the message on the group, I was, you know, I mean, I was in it, so, yeah, I was quite happy to do something like this for people. Pick and Pay is a company that really cares and community work for us is extremely important. So we've been doing charity work with the Stormers for a while now. Um, the nice thing is that um, they have an amazing team to work with. Um, I've been personally last week with them. I must say they, they really got out of the way for the skids. Um, I think it's a great initiative by Pick and Pay um, and like the DHL Storm is coming together um, because like like I said, in this time of need, like everyone needs to like do something and like help out. To be given an opportunity where you can like play a small little role in like someone else's life is, is massive for me. I've always came back stronger after my past injuries and uh, yeah I think that's what that's what everyone who's injured works hard for to come back stronger you don't want to come back uh, average or anything like that yeah for me personally it's been it's been quite positive uh, in the sense of there hasn't been much rugby that I've missed out on and I mean I'm catching up slowly but surely and then uh, hopefully uh, when uh, when you give it the green light to go uh, carry on at rugby I can definitely just jump in with the team and, and start training with them fully I think it's going to be amazing on the first game where we get to play and actually the crowds are allowed into the stadium. It's going to be quite an amazing feeling. And yeah, I think the guys are definitely working hard for that. As you can see the guys pushing themselves here. And yeah, I mean, uh, in getting Ketar smiling, I think, um, I think us as a storm as a union, yeah, we did our part to feed the nation and pick and pay. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think we truly uh, uh, played our part in feeding the communities and just, and, and, and just making sure that we give more than just rugby. We give hope and we get to feed the people. So yeah, I think uh, now it's just up to us to, to do what we paid for and yeah, to just uh, play rugby again.